The argument we hear so often from anti-theists that religion is the cause of war and slavery and torture, etc., relies on circular reasoning, at least when made by atheists. And in that lies the fallacy. Let's start with the belief of atheists. They believe in nothing supernatural. They only believe in what we can prove through nature, through natural science. Therefore, to the atheist, there is no God, there is nothing supernatural, and religion, therefore, is man-made. Now, here's the problem. They argue that religion causes all these horrors, and by that they assume that in the absence of religion there would not be all of these horrors. But if religion is made by man, well, removing religion does not remove man. Man is therefore the cause of all these horrors, which maybe he does in the name of religion, but if he is the cause of these horrors, he's just as capable of these horrors without religion as he is with it. Religion is maybe at best a tool that man uses to cause these horrors. But why does he need religion? He could just as easily use any other doctrine, and the doctrine need not rely on a belief in God or the supernatural. Not only does logic reveal this truth, but history as well. The most horrid wars and atrocities of the 20th century were not carried out in the name of religion. The Nazis kinda sorta believed in God, I suppose, but they didn't carry out their acts in the name of religion, and the Soviets were anti-God. So some of them were kind of indifferent to religion, others were anti-religion, None of them were doing these things in the name of religion, and we saw the horrors that unfolded throughout the 20th century. You can point out these truths to the anti-theist, and they'll likely retreat from the argument or change the subject over to whether or not God exists. They will then continue to make the fallacy, but not to you and not to people who they know are formidable, but instead to the less educated believer because truth does not seem to be the ultimate goal of the anti-theist.